What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Yesterday Billy released a new mini album uh, and this title track, Ring Ma Bell. Uh, what a wonderful world. Uh, I've only seen thumbnails of this. Uh, I haven't watched any teasers or heard anything um, uh, that they've released for it, but someone did tell me in Discord that it has, uh, it's a rock song or a rock vibe. So we just got done uh, the other day reacting to Twice's uh, Queen of Hearts and I definitely had thoughts about that mix so i'm gonna try and separate and remind myself that this is probably well it most likely is going to be just k-pop a k-pop group doing rock it's not a rock song it's not k-pop actually writing a rock song it's just a rock concept i guess i should say so all right let's check this out uh, and uh, honestly i do have to say if there's anyone that i really wanted to hear a rock concept from it's billy uh, especially after uh, our first reaction to them, uh, which was Ring Ring, where I fell in love with them. So it's going to be very interesting. Let's see what route they go, what era they use, and all that stuff. So, all right, let's check this out. This is Billy with Ring Ma Bell. Okay, guitars, very appropriate. Somebody's guitar's not plugged in, sounds like. Oh, that's not how that works, but okay. Whoa. So we're doing 80s? 80s hair metal. Okay. And this is a newer approach. They sound really good. Nice organ coming in. That's interesting. I like the Billy yell. They sound so good. Already. Okay, we're going to pause here. Okay, we're going to pause before the second verse. Yeah, so they're doing... I'm getting flashes of uh, late 70s or early, I guess mid 70s rock leading into hair metal, uh, which is very, very cool because I don't think I've heard it done before. Uh, we usually hear newer metal or newer rock and pop punk and all that kind of stuff. So it's very interesting that they're using that era, which is very, very cool. And the chant is, is very, uh, very fitting to that. And that's what gives it away. When it goes into the verses, it's not that anymore. It is just something newer, right? Uh, and it's very clear uh, that in this song, the, um, the bass is going to be the star of the show. And the guitars, unfortunately, are just there to support the bass. Um, which is usually the other way around in rock music. But again, this is, this is a K-pop group, uh, a really wonderful K-pop group doing a rock concept. So, uh, the, the, the tones themselves, like everything is really, really nice. Uh, it's just, as always, I wish the guitars were, were raised up a little bit because this is rock. I mean, this is, um, guitar driven music, but it's all, it's, 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 it's all good. It's whatever. Uh, I will accept it because again, it's a K-pop group doing rock. So. Very interesting chorus, though. I'm gonna, I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to go back, but I'm sure they're obviously going to do it again. Um, all right, uh, let's go back uh, to close to where we were and let it vibe in. Oh, we're back. Yeah, overall, the production is very nice. Ooh. 
what was that? What was that? Let me hear this again. There's a little guitar part uh, in the middle, from the middle to the right ear. <laughs> that is very, very nice. And that is not something that I expected. And something about that that uh, single note uh, lead section or that single note uh, uh, progression, the guitar progression, is not something, honestly, that I expected in K-pop. I thought it w- they did a, a more simplified one uh, earlier, but that one is, it's just that last note. It's just it's something about that last note that's hitting me like Jane's Addiction or The Cult. Somewhere there... Um, Late uh, early 80s to uh, just alternative rock, which is very, very cool. Very interesting. I wish it was louder, but that's uh, that was a really nice little uh, guitar progression there. Let's go back here one more time and move on. See the simple one? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's a hell of a kick. Okay, bridge. Or do we have a bridge in this? Yeah, no, we don't. Woo. Guitar solo. Oh, there is a bridge. That. Ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit, this song is so climactic all the way through we're going to talk about that after this the bridge itself something was filling that up and i think it was the organ that was very very big and intense Uh, and i think it was an organ let's go back a little bit yeah in the background it's a synth or organ I don't know how they. Oh, the guitar solo did it. We're going to talk about this after. Wow. They sound so good doing this. It's really, really nice. Yeah, they sound really good doing that. Holy shit. Ah. They really did a good job with this video. Yeah, they, they really nailed the concept. Billy's aesthetic uh, in their music videos is just so good. Oh, more lore stuff. A girl with the cat face? Interesting. That was really interesting. I don't I don't care about lore in general. You guys know this by now. But what I do love about their lore is the uh, the aesthetic of it all. It's like it's really cool and it makes for some really, really cool videos. Uh, so that's as much as I, I worry about lore, but we'll be here for it if that's an if that's another video coming out. So okay, the song itself. The song is playlist. I don't know how much I would listen to it because it's very climactic, and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So 
when you look at a rock song and the way a rock song is is written the climax comes at the end right obviously and whether there's a bridge or not there usually is a bridge there's a bridge and then let's say they would do that ring my bell section right where the drums are dropped out it's just them clapping they're singing along the whole crowd is singing that that last chant and then all of a sudden they go into the very last chorus which is more powerful than the other choruses and then a big climactic chorus where where all those guitar solos and everything kick in right the interesting thing is in this song they took that section of a rock song after the bridge leading into the last two choruses out and made that every single chorus in this song uh which is which is an interesting take because as a K-pop song, it works. As a rock song, it doesn't work because you have we haven't had anything that led up to that climax. Like the climax at the, at a minute, at the end of a song is is there for a reason. You went on a journey, right, through all these three minutes or two two minutes and twenty seconds, and then you finally come out of the end of that bridge, and then you're it's just all hell breaks loose. It's all you know, it just pops, right. Um, and nothing, this song doesn't take you on that journey. This journey is just verse, boom, verse, boom, uh, which is very, very interesting and very, very K-pop. Uh, and like I said, we've heard K-pop use K-pop uh, rock instruments in interesting ways, but this time they actually used elements of a rock song in, in, in a very interesting way. So really, really creative. And the production was on point. Like this song sounds so, so good. Uh, and this is Playlist. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.